Dearest gentle viewers, welcome back to SA Live. Season 3 of Bridgerton is out tomorrow, and just like us, our next guest is going to seize any occasion as an opportunity for a grand celebration. She's a true virtuoso in the art of hosting extravagant theme parties and delights in sharing her creative visions with her ever-expanding audience on social media. <laughs> We speak of the illustrious yes. Katie Rose Watson from the Rose Table. She shall unveil henceforth the secrets to hosting a Bridgerton-inspired watch party that will undoubtedly crown you the talk of the town. Tut, tut, piff, 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 and all that sort of rot. <laughs> SI Live. Thanks so much for having me on the show today to talk about one of my favorite subjects, party planning. I had so much fun with this whimsical Bridger team theme party. It's such a perfect party theme because who doesn't love an old fashioned garden party? And of course, you can use a lot of these recipes for your own Bridgerton watch party right in your own living room. I went with lots of antique touches, lots of silver and cut glass. And really, we all know in Bridgerton, more is more. So there's lots of color lots of glitz and glamour, but everything has that Regency era look to it while still being super colorful and fun. My friends had such a blast dressing up in Regency wear, which is totally optional, but absolutely fun for a Bridgerton party. And we even played croquet, which is one of my personal favorite lawn games, but also so prevalent in the show. Since they're so often enjoying tea time in the show, I went with a bunch of tea time treats, such as a whole tier of tea sandwiches and the prettiest garden party salad with edible flowers. Oh my goodness, this is so perfect for a Bridgerton party or really any garden party. Spiced honey, honey is a running theme throughout the menu. Lemon lavender, shortbread cookies, such an old fashioned buttery delicious tea time cookie, a chocolate strawberry cake roll that was such a perfect make ahead dessert and honeybee cupcakes. What a scandal. What would the Bridgerton family think about that? And now we're gonna head in the kitchen so I can show you how to make my diamond of the season punch. Let's go. If you guys are looking for the perfect Regency era drink for your Bridgerton party, this is it. I did hours of research on Regency era punches and it turns out pineapples were all the rage in the Regency era. They cost $8,000 in today's money for a single pineapple and people would literally get a pineapple and just like walk around with their pineapple to show people that they could afford a pineapple. So of course for our diamond of the season punch, I thought it would be so fun to start out with a little pineapple simple syrup. This is so easy to make. You just boil sugar and water until it's clear and then pour it over some cubed pineapple and let it hang out in the fridge for, you know, about overnight, 24 hours, something like that. Then strain it and you have the most Oh, delicious pineapple syrup. Smells like pineapple, tastes like pineapple. It's delicious. A quarter cup. Then we're gonna do two cups of chilled green tea. After all, this is kind of a tea party, right? That's very Bridgerton. Then we're going to do three fourths of a cup of Di Sarono, my favorite amaretto. Then two ounces of elderflower liqueur. Saint Germain is my favorite, and it makes everything taste fancier. I love this ingredient. Couple dashes of orange bitters. Perfect. We're gonna give that a stir. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells absolutely amazing. And then our champagne. Champagne makes everything better, don't you think? Beautiful. The color is so stunning. And then last, but certainly not least, we're gonna add a little bit of gold prism powder. This almost never, like really, doesn't capture it on video, but trust me, in person, it is so stunning. Like the drink will literally sparkle like a diamond. Absolutely perfect for our diamond of the season. As always, you can get all these recipes on therosetable.com. Thanks so much for having me on the show, you guys.